Hello and welcome to my great grandfather here uh, with the uh, Llama Queen and we are back and as you can see we're leading league. What is this madness? Yeah, it's true madness. Dukari, most goals scored. Leading the league as well with uh, those goals scored. Mud Sansen, the crazy Dane, has done 15 assists. Seven mana matches. If we win another mana match, his most mana matches in one season and nine goals. Feel bad for uh, Sakali, 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 Sami Sakali. That's like a little bit better. He's really good, but I think it was he's training the best, Mad Sansen, and he's also have the best ever stretch rating in recent five then we have Luis Brenning it's just the same players all around he's also training really good um fortunately his marking is still terrible here but he wanted to move uh, um individual training so now he's actually we have switched that to endurance instead since uh, his work rate is not that great and his stamina is nice just 10 i'm not sure that he's going to prove that much but Still a good player for this level, so probably the best defensive player and then Matt Sutton and then he has also two red cards even <laughs> and just one yellow which is kind of wild. Uh, so we in the top O's today that is second and also have really outperform what they are. We, we could see the, I mean this has changed over the time so it's kind of wild anyway, but we are expected, top O's is expected. 15 so whoever i'm pretty sure that either us or top us is going to win is eight times the money and 16 times the money for us to win there and as you can see I actually saw which was uh, kind of cool Sil has actually played europa league uh yeah europa league <laughs> group stage just because they won the um cup they got relegated and won the cup so no wonder why they they are favored to go up to the league but no wonder why they kind of struggle since they have had Europa League to focus at as well as you can see Scali and Mad Sansen their best average rate in Scali 16 goals and 8 assists and a good news even if we go up uh, which we probably get, will get totally slaughtered, but we leave three loaning players that probably one of our best players. We have Scali for the next season. He's going to be loaned in again. For we don't even have to pay his full wages, which is kind of wild, since we probably could put pay his full wages now. But no, but they're just going to let us pay his half, and even less. We <laughs> we just have to pay ten percent of Matt Sansa's wage. From Silla, even if we're playing at the same division as Silla, I I don't understand them. I guess he's not good enough for this division, but still. And then we have as well, um, Kevin Norby. We also managed to loan him in. Uh, we have to pay a little bit of a fee here, one thousand. And uh, is that half? I don't really know if it's... I think it was 50%, but it might. Both Scali and Mats Hansen, that's probably played the most matches. Both their contracts go out, not this season, but the next season. We might pick them up. So, let's go to the matches. Go ahead, the Eagle. was an awful match. So then I thought, well, we will drop down. Never mind. This was just a one-time blip. And probably because we rotate a little bit here. So we did not look that great. Or some players just had a bad day. Helmund, I believe there were 8 or 7. Scully here, scoring goals. Dukare, Scully, you can see. <laughs> it's like 4 players to contributing offensively every single match. So it's just them all the time. Norby here as well, with the crossing. And Hansen to Scully. So it's basically just the same, like 5 players that contribute offensively and Norby again to Scali to Hansen and Dukari I guess it's important that we keep them I think we will keep du Dukari is technically I think not good enough for this level but I'm probably going to keep him anyway since he's scoring so many goals uh, the Buch 
is not that great. They are mid table or whatever. We didn't score until the second half here, but as you can see, we dominated possession 60%. Docaria scoring the old Shoopers actually with that assist. We have rotated a lot there we between three choices. Um, the Kuch I actually given like 11 uh, starts from, or 11 matches in total in the league. Yes, because why not? He's probably not going to improve that much, but... Since we have a player, and it's actually kind of, I feel like I did that. It was two two goals right after each other. Some Sakali is probably the best one. I'm probably going to keep him. And the issue is that we have no one. No, I think no one even is like a star, considered a star. in, Which is weird, since um, both Scali and Hansen are probably seen as the best player in the division. Even if they not consider that on the paper. Scali. Sakali there. Similar names. MVV. Um, not that much of domination here. Maybe fairly even match possession wise. But as you can see they have way less chances here than us. And MVV I believe there are 12th maybe or something like that. Hansen goes through the Gertz, some of the new players assisting through, or Gertz actually did a brilliant match here, the Belgian feller. One goal and one assist. Did he? I'm just curious, did he become man of the match? It seems like he should have. is not any stars or anything <laughs> pointing out. Uh, oh, we have the youth intake also, so <laughs> I guess we have a lot to go through anyway. Uh, but luckily, this might be the last. Uh, we, we, we went low. Simmons come in here as well. Simmons and uh, Enzo has both done really good coming in in the central midfield. I'm still trying to give the other play the Spar and um, we have that Suriname player, Jeremy. Uh, they still consider the second best. Uh, I don't know. It seems impossible to keep everyone happy when we have like 24 players or whatever. But it's very weird. In some position we are just totally stacked. Like in central midfield. I could show you here. It's, it's very weird. <laughs> we have like three right backs. I mean he's loaned in so. And then we have the cooks that's technically not good enough. But as you can see he's playing really good. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to develop that much, which is, which is really sad. He hasn't even gone up a star there. Still playing him like 12 matches on start. I guess I could have given more, but I don't want to take risks. And then we have three left backs, technically. Uh, Voss can play at central field. I think Norby can also play there. And we have three... Defenders, so it's really weird. Or central defenders. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. There, five, three. This was probably our best offensive game. We did concede like three goals. <laughs> it was a great day. Actually, had more possession here. Took area. Many different players also assisting through to the goal. Gertz here. Emanja. Scali to Ducari, the Emanja has been really involved as well. He's going to play in the left. Um, yeah, some of the signings that I've done has not... I thought they were better. Like our Croatian fellow, this cost me 9,000 months. So we're probably going to sell him Shoopers. With a good cross here, Scali. So I'm I'm kind of scared for the next season. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think that was a goal that was so awesome. Hopefully we don't get any injuries on them for the next season here. Hansen <laughs> there. Again, Norby, Scali, Remnat, Scali. With assist to Hansen there. They are assisting to each other. A lot difficult goal ever. And then we have Hag, a very professional game there. Sakali and Dukari. Uh, actually, uh, Di Salto. Di Salto, oh, I don't know how you say it, but he actually did assist here. So I played him as a striker here. Um, but he's not great. He's, he, he was worse. I did not scout. I couldn't scout him since we can't scout. 
Or I guess my scout find them once and then I didn't scout them more. Took a rear there on the rebound. And uh, since Gruser is out and uh, that's why he comes in. Uh, Brenning, uh, Norby, Gertz, Underhout. That was him that I talked about. That is the second best there. Technically, I don't know. Uh, he might be. Yeah, he's actually the second best there also. So we go with the best ones anyway. Emanja, Hansen, Dukare, Scali. And we're playing at home as well, which is a benefit. The season might just... I, I, I guess I could show the check the lossy or definitely did not finish second. It's just it just seems like no one uh, or we really difficult to be defeated. We have like very little draws and mostly wins. Uh, as you can see, as I, I guess seven losses still, pretty much. But compared to everyone else, eleven goals more than Valvaik. That's kind of wild. So we seem to score a lot of goals also. That. Definitely helps out in the long run. Or it would take us a victory, and I think we are probably definitely. Yeah, then we have four points before them. Or I guess it. But we. I don't think that. Then two teams could go above us. Scally? Scally scores on a penalty, and it's kind of fun. It's still to see Scally. I scored 17 now and Dukare scored 18. So it's kind of a fight between them who will score the most goals. Skull or Dukare would have finished it up now since he had uh, 18 goals there. But now Skull is in the fight again. Dukare, I guess we'll see. Maybe Dukare. Emanja! Yosef Emanja is still in the team, which is wild. Since he shouldn't be good enough, really. Yeah, it's weird. He did a really good season there last season in the third division. We signed up from uh, Quick, that is, uh, yeah, with uh, fourth division sign. And then this season, he scored, m he has done even more points, but from less games. Okay, Valvike is leading. I think Valvike can then we go before we I guess that we see I might still rotate for the last game which will be a while but I don't really do Arik Scali Dukare with assist they're not selfish either Dukare has done a lot of assists as well so it's not like oh I have to score <laughs> I, lo I love this signing with Dukare also we just find them in the front. They're the second division in France and they're like, nope, he's not good enough. And then they score for the second team, uh, Tango. So I think Ducari might actually still lead it. Scully, ooh, Ducari was near there. He would have, then he would definitely be on the internal fight. Who will win the uh, goal scoring league? Uh, I I think though Scali has been more outspread there. Never mind, he has scored just all his goals also in Liga Fort. So we have one player that's not over seven. I think Despari's uh, contract going out, he's playing, he has been pretty decent, but very much in and out of the team. So uh, I think he's also over 30. So that's why I'm thinking of actually letting him go after the season here. They've had nothing so far, really. Two shots only. I guess um, it might be a little bit of break in between, so it might be a thing. A nation with the, the Icelandic club, I got to see when we got promoted. So I hope we get to see that here also. Grand Damen. What a great number. Grand Damen is rotating between those three. I have no idea. I think this will not be enough, though. Since Valvaik is winning their match i guess we will just see i think it's still wild if we get promoted it's just like what <sighs> i thought this season would be tougher and then this season was even more us dominating or dominating i shouldn't say but being there in the top we never really slipped down in the way and some of where we had difficulty maybe to win matches if it was October or September or whatever. But then we have gone through. <clears throat> the only negative is probably the cup again where we 
got knocked out right away, but we did not have the easiest draw. So I guess we are not probably promoted, but we not secure the league title yet. What? We have been promoted, or we are top of the table there. Why does it show if we are four points before the other team? That's kind of dumb. I guess they could. I, I guess they couldn't count it. We win. We win. Second division there. Budget. We're next. Oh. That's a lot of uh, wage budget though, to be fair. I guess I could show you the players we have upcoming. Stanic. Mm, not sure. We need strikers though. I guess we see he's good on the head. That's the thing. It's a good job. But I'm not sure else where is it. He's probably not good enough for the division. I think most of it is good enough for second division. I guess we'll see. Uh, Lucas Valante from... Um, Balvaik there. He's not even played any matches. But he has some <coughs> he has some experience from uh Erdivis. He played attention. Uh Jong Vitis is also played two matches. But again, mm, even if we check here, it's still say A plus. I've tried to go for players that's like A plus and can develop. But still he's like, eh, maybe not going to get that much from uh, Adnan Igur, I think he's probably the best one there from Grandshaft. I love that still. He hasn't played any matches recent time. But he has some air divisa experience, but not a lot. So you can see here, it's kind of whatever. And uh, this <coughs> Luxembourgian keeper is kind of a gamble. We don't know yet how good he is. So, yeah, but I try to not sign like the most expensive players. So I guess we will see how good they will be. It might just be like they are not going to be as good as I think, like some of these other players that was. <laughs> we are crown champion. Iconic. Am I on the icon then list now? Yay, I am. I, lo I love that branch, man. It was like the first division here. Was long in second division, still his uh, favorite person. Why is Tarek Skali not the icon? That's bizarre. Okay, we actually have two stars, so we got the two star reputation bump already. So I guess I will be back for the match against Telestar and we will see which point Tele we will finish on. I said also we should. Yeah, we were six last season. So I guess we will be back with the last game of the season against Telestar. And we'll probably say goodbye to him. I might give some players Penningberg and Despar uh, their last matches in the club. So, yeah, see you soon again. Bye! Hello, and welcome back to the great grandfather. And we have some players to thank off, or probably not going to be here. Um, Despardi, probably going to try to sell him. I thought he would be better, but he wasn't. He's been really poor. So I'm Probably going to try to carry. I'm going probably going to keep Scully. I'm probably going to Riley Remnant is the worth show. So we're probably going to let him go there. Despair, we I already decided not to give him a new contract here. So he's probably going to leave. Klinkenberg, that was from Yable. Probably, yeah, he was way too expensive. We're probably going to let him go. Uh, Martin, probably going to let him go. This he's not going to get younger. Was probably also not going to. He's been real. He's been really good when he. He's mostly has been a backup the recent two seasons. But we probably anyway going to let him go play him as a central defender. Amir Birson was a player. I guess we could see how much he wants right now. We don't even say how much you want. Okay, I'm not too foul, so I'm not going to give you that. He, he's decent, but he's not that good that he deserved that amount. So he's probably going to leave. Danielio Matthews, still ridiculous. 36,000, yeah, that seems reasonable when you're a freaking, uh, what did it say there? Future prospect, yeah, he's going to leave also. Down here we have some lone players that are probably going to come in next year. Ramon Diaz, 
probably not good enough, so we're probably going to loan him out over next season. But if we don't find the central midfielder, it could be like the fourth choice, maybe. With Zacharia Lozano. Also have potential for more, but I guess we'll see. Both of them are. And we have Alexander. Probably go with Lonia in now. And then we have Sowell. They're still developing, but his mentals and his physicals are not really cutting up. But we have some players here. And then we have some other players that probably we want to sell or at least going to leave. So we have uh, Kik Landskron that's going to let go and Nick Horch. And then we have Bellen and Nar. I don't think that's going to make a difference since you could see there he did not want less money just because he sacked his agent and still wants ridiculous amount. I don't know why. I I mean, I played him like half the game. I guess he's developed a little bit, but it's still like... My highest paid player right now has 9,000. So it's like, he wants like, <laughs> he wants like four times that, basically. So I guess we'll see. Don't be surprised if we are way worse here since we playing with them. Um, it's the players that will be left. Kali, Skali and Dukaria. So we have like three players that would. <laughs> Definitely stay here next season. Everyone else is kind of eh, probably not the best. So don't be surprised if we lose this. But uh, we are four points before the nearest uh, the second team. So and like before, it might not even matter since we have like two, three players up top that's like way better than. It. And then we have some players, of course, on the bench that we. Uh, but I thought, why not just think them off, even if. Some of them has not done that much. I, I really like this Baron Remnant. I definitely thought they were good players when we got up. But now they've just grown up the club. The Salto has not really been great. <laughs> Klingenberg has not even been here for long. But was and Martin there has been really good. And Bryson has not been bad. Ryan Smith. I, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this last match since we are rotating so much. Why don't we thank them off? And especially when it doesn't really matter. Technically, uh, we're not going to lose. We still won the league, so it doesn't really matter. Scally! Ooh! I guess it would be also who wins. The Scully started best. So we probably need a full team or maybe even 20 players for next season. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get through. I, I checked on clubs and there are uh, Ulpest in uh, Hungary. Dukare! Okay, Dukare probably is going to win the goal scoring lead then. Scully with the assist there. Um, which is two and a half star. Now we are two star rep, so... They're definitely tougher, and they also lead in the second division in uh, Hungary. But they are a um, team that's supposed to be in the first division, and mainly it's been in the first division for like all time. And then we have Academica, that's like on the path of maybe even getting relegated. I believe they're fourth team just above their relegation. Remnant! Oh, good. Free kick there. So. They're really interested, and then we have St. Gallen and Le Havre, that's three star each, but I think that's too good. We had also Slavia Prague, which is the oldest club there, actually, their manager is unsecured, but I believe they have maybe even f three and a half star, or four and a half star, <coughs> probably three and a half star. Four and a half star seems like a lot. I'm sorry, not playing good. So, I guess we guess Emanjain and Scali up top there instead. I know it says this is way worse, but still playing that. I guess Grosser, I'm not sure that he will be here either. Pretty decent, but I'm not sure that he's going to actually improve that much. Ooh, that was terrible. Is that Remnant that did that mistake there? That was not great, just... What is this? Bryson. 
Greaser. No, it's Greaser. This just come in. <laughs> Not a good first impression there. The ver the spar. I'm probably going to get out the spar since he's the most tired. Oh, penalty as well. I guess we get Enzo in then. To be fair, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just calm as uh, them and whatever. Still fairly even though. Possession we are not great at that today, but still fairly even. It's not like we have been totally up. Just you definitely see a difference. That's why I've been going with our I've done some rotating like right back or rotated the full team is definitely made the difference. But maybe we fight back here. Is the Scully that's going to take he's going to take it? And he scores! How many goals has he scored now? 19. They are on the same points. Or same goal scored and same in the league. So I guess we we ever scored the next goal, we 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 would definitely be the favorites to go down. Because I'm pretty sure they've never even been in the first. Remnant, ooh. Would be nice if we could come back here after being down. Kind of a sour table to lose the last match still. Okay, that's a brilliant goal. How good is he? I just want to see. Because that was a brilliant goal. Maybe it's just a brilliant free kick taker. I mean, you see definitely the difference in some of the players. Also, it seems like a player. Ah, oh, Scarlett, definitely best player today. Are we going to even lose 6 2? That would be kind of ironic. But we have three penalties in the, this match. It's been really eventful, to be fair. I mean, it could still. they could it, it could still be like, oh, we are going to show, show uh, our manager that we are good enough. No one of these players showed that they were good enough. You're not taking the chance here to show, and you're 30, you're like 30 years, uh, over 30 years old, and you're like the highest wage also, so it seems silly to keep you. The only issue I see that I'm not sure that we're going to be able to, to be fair, it's not terrible, so I don't know how we do, if we just sell everyone that's like, eh, not good enough. Or if we just keep this one still. I think we might. But it's pro like this fella. Riley. He's not the, even that bad. But it's still like the fourth choice. And we're getting in some other players. So it's like. I think we just keep this one. This four star. And Ducaria. Since I don't want to sell it. Grosser. So. Probably not good enough. But we have our. This is the thing. So many players are overachieved here. So I'm like. Should we sell you just? It's like, I don't know what we do since it's like some of these players have played so darn good and like overachieved. So it's like, do I just let them go? Just being like, no, you're not good enough anymore. I mean, some of these players are not bad, but I, I feel like the Eredivis is just way too good for most of these players. I don't know why it was. Okay, I'm probably just going to stop here. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through what we need to sign because we basically probably need to sign every single. I guess the only position where I'm kind of is right. Right winger there. And central midfielder, we have a lot of players coming in. We have one, two, three, three central midfielders. And one striker, but mm, we're still... The the issue, I feel like they would not come to get any scout. And also it's um, going to take a while because, as usual, it takes a while before they actually like move you up. And you're shown as the uh, Eredivisie team. They're probably still going to get scouting report for players that's good enough for this league. But I, I'm thinking of just going the route of just getting players that's like like this fella is like good enough for the second division at least or so and are young and maybe can at least improve like Matt Sansen and uh, Kevin Norby and Tarek Scali that at least can improve 
But so far I haven't seen any single player that's like good Eredivisie. And I feel like those players are... I mean, we have more wages, but I'm a little bit also like, eh, how much should I offer since all of the, I guess everyone is probably going to get to like 30% wage rights, but I guess we will see. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I see you soon again. So bye.